Well, the Henry Clay Memorial Foundation is inviting you to experience black history at Ashland, the Henry Clay Estate. Now, this is an amazing and educational and artistic experience for uh, next weekend. And here to talk with us more about it is Jim Clark. He's the executive director at Ashland, Henry Clay Estate. Jim, good to see you, sir. Thank you. Good to be here. So this programming, you all have been working on this for some time. And... Uh, there's been a lot of buzz about it. We're very excited to roll it out. Kind of give us the, the, the big snapshot of what, uh, what our viewers are in store for. Well, and this is actually a, um, makes sense that it evolved out of our Traces Slavery at Ashland tour. And people wanted to know more about the enslaved at Ashland yes. and how that, you know, frames within Henry Clay's life as a politician, but also as a farmer. Yeah. So he was involved in slavery um, politically and personally. So it makes sense that we explore this because black history is American history. Absolutely. It frames that period of time and reveals a very complex environment in which Clay was operating. But also what we want to do is really focus in on the enslaved and the resilience that they had, the yes. resistance that they had, um, and um, it's we're bringing together a lot of people that are going to tell this story from many perspectives. Yeah, I, I saw your your roster of speakers, and it's very impressive. Um, how important was this to your foundation to to have these conversations? Sometimes these are tough conversations to have, as history often is. Yes. But uh, this is our mission, isn't it? Yes, it's it's difficult history, but it's history, mm -hmm. and it's also I think what makes it. The complexity is what makes it interesting. Yes. And that's what a lot of these scholars that we're working with and interpreters are revealing all these different aspects. And we're also including genealogists who will be working with people um, because people want to know their family lineage and how it's connected. And one of the things that we're hoping to do is to identify descendant community mm. um, of those people that are um, view that they that their family has connections to Ashland um, and that you know we've done that on the clay family with the white ancestors um, but it's now it's we're developing this with uh, those that are um, tied to the clay family and are um, have the um, connections through enslaved people so important um, I understand uh, this event's uh, free for the public, and we, yes. we have some uh, individuals, organizations perhaps, to thank for this. Yes, the Bluegrass Community Foundation, and also uh, we're doing this in partnership with UK's uh, Community Engagement Office. Oh, very so good. we couldn't have done it without them, and as well as with our um, African and African American Advisory Council that has been working hard to bring all this together. So, you know, we're bringing people in from Charleston and. Um, New York, but we're also relying on people locally that are engaged in this and, and that can really flesh this out for us. Very good. Well, this is something for everyone. And uh, let's get some where's and when's yes. going and, and how our viewers can plan their opportunity to okay. come out and see you. So Friday evening um, at 530, we're having um, meet the authors. Okay. So we have uh, Dr. Alistine Turley and Dr. Vanessa Holden, who are both Kentucky both authors. Both wonderful, yes. And um, But we're also um, featuring uh, Joe McGill, and he's he's one of our uh, featured attractions. He has the Slave Dwelling Project. Um, so he, he will be um, talking about his new book that uh, explains the way in which he has uh, worked at many different plantations um, to reveal sort of the life and culture of the enslaved. Very good. Uh, website for, for yep. folks to learn more, to plan, uh, to come out to see. We have the full itinerary at uh, henryclay.org under upcoming events. Very good. Well, Jim, we appreciate you and your team so much. When I moved here 23 years ago, Ashland Henry Clay Estate was one of my first stops. And every time I come back, I learn something new. So it, it's a great experience there. Uh, a treasure for the city, too. Appreciate you, sir. Thank you. We're back in just a second. Stick around, please.